right, so now we're moving on to the uh, amplitude and wave speed experiments. So when it says to send a pulse, that means just one single wave to the other side. So we're going to go ahead and demonstrate that. <laughs> so one thing I want you to look at is what's happening on the other end when the wave gets to Mrs. Wolf. And you kind of, if you look closely, you should be able to see it. So go ahead and write that. Um, make sure you take note of that for your questions. Um, so one thing we, another thing we've talked about in class is amplitude, and that's the height of the wave. So we can make a small amplitude wave like this, or we can make a bigger amplitude wave like that. And in order for me to make a bigger amplitude wave, I need to make a bigger back and forth or I should say perpendicular motion to the slinky. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna do an experiment and see if amplitude affects the speed of the wave. So we're gonna start out with a small amplitude wave um, and we're gonna get, take three times and then take an average. And I'll be timing the wave to get to Mrs. Wolf on the other side. So we'll start out with time one for the small amplitude wave. Three, two, one, go. All right, so the first time was 1.28 seconds. Now we're going to do time two. So three, two, one. That was 1.19 seconds for time two. 1.19 seconds. And now we'll do time three. Three, two, one. And that was 1.27 seconds. So now we're going to see, we're going to make a bigger amplitude wave and see if this um, changes at all. So this is time one for the large amplitude wave. And three, two, one. That one was 1.18 seconds. 1.18. So this is time two for the large amplitude wave in three, two, one. That was 1.22 seconds. This is time three for the large for the large amplitude wave in three, two, one. And that was 1.21 seconds. Um, one other thing you're going to need is the distance that me and Mrs. Wolf are apart. We are three meters apart. And you're going to have to use that when you calculate wave speed because speed is distance over time. So please make sure you calculate the average time and then you're going to use the average time to calculate the wave speed um, in the next problem for the small and large amplitude wave.